Yeah, you know, I mean, my, my main takeaway is you've heard me now, Steve, talk probably too often about values and principles, but it's, it's such an important thing to continue to reiterate, uh, especially in the circumstances today. So away at a top team in the league, obviously the Supporters' Shield winner from last season, uh, Christian Benteke is out. Ku is also out after you know a really good performance last week, and the the actions that we displayed today I think really show exactly what our values are. That under difficult circumstances we still continue to try to be in our way, and for the first 35 minutes of the match I, I think it looked like we were on top and that we could win the game. Cincinnati's always going to come back in the game because they have quality and. That's just the, the name of the game. If you don't punish them, then they're going to stay in it and they're going to try to go and hurt you. And, um, and I'd say even the start of the second half, I liked the way we started. And, and once more, back to the values, even though probably the majority of the second half, they were on top of us, we stuck together. We grinded out a point, and, and I'm really proud of the group. And, and now we move forward, try to get healthy for next week. What, uh, what are some of the things that maybe you thought maybe you could have done better when that pressure was Really increasing late in the game. Yeah, we, that we the situation where you have to survive. Yeah, I think I think the situation we lost our structure a little bit uh, against the ball, and that's credit to Cincinnati because they were able to, to increase their speed of play. But um, once again, I, I think another big change in the second half. Lucas coming off, you know, we changed our shape at that stage. So that that's something that we really haven't um, educated our players on. So that's something that I look at myself for. And don't necessarily say, you know, the, the players have full responsibility there for us not uh, not making more of the second half. That's that's on us as a coaching staff and on me in particular. Um, but again, we were able to, to work together, block a lot of shots, um, get behind the ball, and and uh, you know, I think there's a lot more positive today, today than negative. And Alex was pretty good. Absolutely. I mean, what a performance from Alex Bono. He he's been that way pretty much the entire preseason. And um, he made he made two exceptional plays today, and there's there's just so many players to name in terms of the blocks that they made and the recovery runs that they made to get behind the ball. Um, but I'm really happy for Bones to see him now the third match and getting a clean sheet at Cincinnati is not an easy is not an easy task. Um, uh, Christian obviously is held out, but he, he traveled, right? He's part of the group. Yeah. So this is I mean this is who Christian Benteke is. He wasn't meant to travel. Um, he, he was a little bit questionable coming in. And uh, he he uh, organized it to where he came to support the guys, and um, we we didn't know until match day, and he was here to surprise the guys to go and support him. So did he, even travel with you? he did not. He did not. He just popped up. That's exactly right, and that's who Christian is. He wanted to be here with the team, and um, he's just such a selfless individual, and he's such a team team guy. Um, I'm looking forward to getting him back in the team, though, so that the circumstances aren't like that today. I, I'm positive about it. I'm really optimistic, but I, I think I'm always optimistic. So I, I would say the same thing with Ku as well. And did Benteke get second rest today? In training. Okay. Yeah, in training. So never minor. Yeah, I, I hope it's minor. We, For that one, we just haven't gotten the scans and all the things that have to go in, into place to understand exactly what it is. Um, and then Lucas is, was it not poison? Yeah, so he, he just, I think it was just, I don't even know it was contact, just the way he came down. Uh, you know, something with his ankle, I believe. But um, once again, I think hopefully he'll be okay to, to compete next week. Now with the Clemson game, uh, was that a Jose Urana? Coach, thank you for taking the time out of, your, out of the game. Talk to us. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit? You kind of mentioned that first substitution with Bartlett coming off, but your thoughts overall on how the substitutes played and getting that result for you guys? Yeah, I, the first one was um, actually, I think it was with Jared coming off and Christian Fletcher coming on. So Christian, you know, displayed such an impact the week previously and uh, and he came on and again showed, he showed some bright moments and he showed that he's, he's certainly someone that's capable of continuing to compete for more minutes. Um, and then the next changes I think were predicated on the injury with Lucas. So then we made, we made a couple changes after that um, to get our structure a little bit different in the back line with Matai and Connor Antley, um, very very nice to see uh, you know Jacob Morrell coming on and getting his first appearance for the club and and uh, and, and the MLS for him. So a nice individual um, accomplishment for him today. Thank you. Max Pilgrim is game. So another point on the row is two points so far and a win at home. How pleased are you with the start so far this season? 
Yeah, I, I, I'm very pleased in, in many ways. So I think the things that I'm happy about are, uh, once again, the, the, a lot of the things that we've put in place for the first couple of months, we're seeing a lot of action behind those. Um, and, and that's something that I mentioned earlier to Steve, but uh, that, that's, those things are easy to talk about and they're easy whenever it's going right. But whenever you're challenged, and, and we were challenged today with a couple players miss being uh, out of the lineup and we were challenged you know, in match um, with what Cincinnati put forward because they're, they're such a high quality team. Um, but we, we continue to stick in our way and, and um, we're going to continue to make strides, I think, with that kind of foundation. So uh, I think if you if you would have looked at these first three matches at Portland, at Cincinnati, and then home to New England, um, you know, being able to take away five points now in the first three matches is, is certainly a positive. And uh, now we have Inter-Miami coming at home. We want to get healthy and, and try to go in with uh, the, the ability to maximize points at home. No, I, I I think that um, those those decisions, you know, I don't I don't typically talk about the the referee decisions for yellows. I I think uh, you know those those could have um, gone a couple different directions, but but that's okay. Um, that's that's part of the game and. Uh, I think it, it didn't have necessarily so much to do with what Cincinnati was doing. I think we, you know, we can control our emotions uh, better all around and make sure that we stay focused on what our roles and responsibilities are in the game. And coach, uh, did the team implement the plan that you laid out for them? Yeah, I think I think for large parts of the game we did. And then what you know what I said to Steve earlier was when we did make changes and maybe we changed our structure a little bit. That's that's when the game. Uh, you know, the plan that we wanted to go and execute was a little bit different. And um, I, I think that's a learning lesson for myself and the coaching staff about how when we have to make an adjustment to our system of play, how we, you know, we don't want to necessarily get passive. We want to continue to stay aggressive. And, um, you know, I, I, again, credit to Cincinnati, though. I think that they were pushing the game as well. And that's – there's always an opponent there, even when you have a game plan. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they have their game plan as well. So uh, it's a point on the road. We'll take it as a positive and we'll move on to next week. And my last question, Bono, it was the, the start of the game? I think you have to say, I have to, I think you have to say that Bones was our man of the match and um, there's there's some defenders that are close seconds behind him today and Chris McVeigh um, being one of them, Lucas, Aaron Herrera, Pedro, uh, I think that entire back line really put in a shift today.